I'm gonna take Harmony and I'm going to put this all over my nail. I was not recording the thumb, unfortunately. And what I'm doing before I come in with my flakes, I'm just putting a nice base down because when I start going in with some other things, 
it is going to really gear this up. So I thought having the nice pink base down and that will help me even out my nail because we are going to layer this. And if you seem to have trouble in your cuticle, you can take a brush and smooth it out. I have super deep sidewalls, so I take a brush to make sure I get at least a little bit of color down the side. You can see I pretty much wipe most of it off. All right, so this one has a chunk missing. Not too bad. So I'm just going to go over and down to connect it to the nail. And then there's a tiny bit missing on this side, not really, but I am also going to do that one. File. Just filed. I don't know if it, I recorded that or not. And with this pinky, I'm actually just not going to try to get down the side. I'm going to do a brush with that because it's annoying. All right, let's get some of these out. I'm thinking pink, obviously. I also have these, which is like a dust. Maybe I do these ones. Okay, so I'm going to take that gelish foundation since this has a matte finish and I just went ahead and made sure that I also brushed, or I should say, um, wiped it off. So pretty. Oh my goodness. Man, it's going to be hard to put anything over this. And fun fact, I like to keep most of it on the top part, even though this is pretty thin, you can see it's not adding any bulk. We're going to repeat the process. To be honest, I probably would have done maybe another layer of the Luminary in Harmony. Because I think I would want them a little bit more pink, but I mean, it's fine. Thank you. 
I mean, right? How am I going to finish what I have in mind? All right, I'm taking a clear gel. This is a builder in a bottle, but I originally was going to do like multiple layers, but I think like I was going to opal this and I, I'll see how I feel tomorrow. All right, so apply that slip layer. And I'm placing most of that gel right in the middle. Because my nails are super short, I do not need a lot of gel here. However, I do want that little bump. You obviously are not going to want to put your brush back in your pot unless you have one of these for a glitter. I do not at the moment. I actually usually do. But you're going to want to make sure that you don't have any glitter before going in with your bigger bead on your brush. And I do. So I'm literally just wiping it off. Locking it down. Pulled off a little bit too much. So if you wanna add more, I like to start where I've already been, connect the gel and then walk it back down the nail. I'm indifferent. So originally I was gonna do matte and then some marbling on top. I don't know. Can I have waited for you to come and drown all my
squeezed out an obscene amount of cuticle oil. But here we go. I'm just going to keep it glossy for now. Like I said, I can change it if I want to. And I just cut them off because I have been doing a ton of work and this is a little bit more of a sport length. <laughs> this might be a little bit longer than sport length, but all right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.